the music's all great. The sound effects, uh, integrated audio language for Metro is great. But one of the most important sounds on the device is uh, are the touch key sounds. They they can if they're done right, they can help in in the typing experience. If they're done wrong, they can be really obnoxious. Um, and if you think about it, they're they're the kinds of sounds that are heard probably more frequently than than any other sound, unless we do it wrong and it's obnoxious and people want to turn them off. Um, so here's here's what uh, here, this is the iPhone typing experience. It's a typewriter, and it's it's one typewriter sample every time you hit a key. It's it's not a terrible sound. It uh, it cuts. It's got a lot of high end frequent and a, and a percussive content there, so it, it sounds good out of the device. Um, it can sound a little harsh sometimes. Um, now, what I'm going to play for you now is is our experience, and instead of one sound, it's actually about eight different sounds that are, have very very subtle variation. This was my point earlier about variation not having to necessarily be um, uh, be something that's even consciously attended to. If you're listening, you, you, you'll probably hear some variation here. You might not even hear it, but the idea is that it's not going to sound like the same sample firing over and over again. Now, there also. I'll just play it for you and then talk a little more. And it's, it's intentionally very soft. Each one of those little clicks, even if they sound the same, is a slight variation from the, from the one that comes before it. And they occur in a round robin pattern. And that's because our, if you think about footsteps walking down a hall or something, they all sound very similar, but they're also all different because your, uh, the high frequency content of each one is changing a little bit as, as you walk down the hall. If you think about walking down a hallway with you know, high heels on or something, something I do frequently. Um, just so I can hear the sounds, right? It's professional, it's all work. Um, but, but our ears really do attend to that. And you don't notice it too much until it's gone and you hear uh, a situation um, like if you just you know, hammer on the, the backspace or the, the space bar of the iPhone, you hear that same thing over and over and over. And you can tell, our ears are hardwired to tell that it is in our brains that it is the same sound over and over. And that gets a little obnoxious. Um, not that iPhone is an obnoxious experience. That's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about just about the sound design. Um, and ours is intentionally very, very soft because one thing that we found is that this needs to be almost, for SIP to work, uh, for soft key typing to work really well, and for that to be an aid to typing, and to, for that to aid the, the tactility of typing, it needs to be very low level. Um, again, so you're feeling it more than you're actually hearing it. Um, when it's louder, it's a little more distracting. When it's soft and like a film soundtrack, just a little bit under, under the surface of consciousness, it actually, uh, there's this thin aesthetic thing that happens where where the, and this has been uh, proven in, in research, the, the, the sound can actually affect it the, way, the way you feel the touch. Um, and there's all kinds of other cool stuff around this research and light and color and texture. And they're all, they can all orchestrate together to, and influence each other. So if something's a certain color and you're touching it, you can actually feel it if, uh, a little bit differently than if it's a, you know, a, a cool color versus a hot color. Um, even if the actual touch, uh, tactile experience of what you're touching is exactly the same. Um, so we can use that little detail about um, cognitive psychomusicology to, to make a better touch key experience. Um, uh, what we've been hearing from some of the power typers is that it actually helps you type faster. It gives you the kind of feedback that you need. Um, it's interesting, th those sounds, you can tell us when you get the devices if you don't already have them. Um, they're designed to be soft and very low profile um, and subtle. But they actually, if you're listening to music on the device at the same time you're typing, we've noticed that they, they cut through, and that's intentional. There is a little bit of high-frequency content, so you'll still be able to feel it and hear it. Um, and we've, we've put a lot of work into refining that. There's still more to do. Um, but that's what I mean about subtle kinds of, of motion. So um, I imagine some of the sounds that you might be using in your apps are, are, are shorter sounds. They're not going to probably be ringtones and, and longer things like that. Um, so that's the kind of thing you can think about to help bring your experience to life a little bit.